someone was watching uh, my video about a hub that worked with one of these Pi Zeros the other day. A uh, chap called Free Electron is his account name. And he was asking what these uh, four pins were uh, that were sticking on the outside of my Pi Zero in its beautiful case. Did I say that case was beautiful? It still is. I'm sure you'll agree. Um, but uh, when I was originally setting this up, it was for a USB device where you can plug this into a computer and uh, interrogate the Pi via the USB port. And uh, I was having problems getting that set up. And uh, because this was running headless, it didn't have a monitor. Uh, it had little more than this and a USB connection on it. Uh, I had no idea what it what was going on in it when it didn't work. I didn't even know whether the card was booting correctly. So what I did was soldered these four pins onto uh, the GPIO, just to this top row of it, or top row in that uh, orientation. Um, and what that enables you to do is to plug in a serial uh, USB port into it or serial USB gadget into it, connect that gadget into another um, computer and then talk to it, talk to the console of the Pi if, it's, if it has indeed booted via USB. So you don't need a connection in these days. Uh, this was an, the original Pi Zero, so it didn't have uh, the W, it didn't have the Wi-Fi in it. So there's pretty much nothing you could do to work out what was going on uh, if the USB port wasn't working and um, you didn't have a monitor on it. Free Electron was asking about that, whether I could show him how you set this up. So I'm going to have a go on this video. Um, to start with though, you actually need to modify the Pi boot image. Uh, so when you set this up to begin with, uh, one of the things that you can do is if you do have it headless to begin with, that's how you've got to start out really. Uh, because if you don't do that, um, you have to enable this serial mode. And the serial mode might not be compatible with if any peripherals you have on it because it does use these uh, some of these pins here. So if you're already using that, it might not work anyway. But anyway, go into your Raspberry Pi config or to the uh, setup on the um, Pi um, UI when you've got a monitor in. And uh, you need to go to the interfaces section on this. Here it is on the UI and make sure this serial is set to on. Uh, so here it is again, if you're using uh, Pi Config on command line, you've gone into the interfaces and uh, then that serial is on. When you click away from that, it says, do you want to allow a connection over to terminal over um, serial port? Say yes, and then the device will reboot. So it's a good idea to do that and let it reboot, uh, because if you don't, then uh, you're not going to have a chance to uh, check whether this has affected any of the other things that you might have on it. So um, if it reboots okay, that's fine. You can also edit it by um, taking the SD card out after you flashed it or uh, a little bit uh, later on and editing the config.txt file that's uh, on that boot partition of the SD card. So you might want to do that on another computer, maybe edit it with notepad or text edit. And uh, you've got this little line down the bottom of it and that refers to the UART, enable UART, which is the serial port or serial chip. And uh, so you need to make sure that's on. Uh, if at any point your Pi system doesn't boot at all, after you've turned that on, then you can always pop the SD card out, put it in a standard computer, uh, modify that file so it's back to zero and then um, you'll be able to rule out that as a problem. So once you've got that set up, you've got to connect your serial um, device to the Pi. And because I'd got it in this rather lovely case, did I tell you this case was rather lovely? Uh, first of all, I had to solder these um, pins in. So you see it's basically on the top row, it's the first pin, which you don't technically need, depending on the object that you, depending on your USB um, serial device that you're going to attach to this. Uh, then you have, you miss the next pin, then the next three you need. So one of them's ground, the other's transmit and receive. So uh, it's really those three there that are most important. There's those three there. So that will be the first, second, third, fourth and fifth in on the top row, if I'm holding it the right, right way around, on the top row there, the uh, 
not one, not two, three, four, five, and possibly the one which is the voltage out to the device. Once I've got that, I can connect my uh, dew point cable to it. Um, so I'm going to, because the first one is ground, I'm going to make the first one black, not using the red one in this. Well, I will use the red one, then you can get an idea of what, how I'm connecting this. So the red one goes to the power out, then the um, black one goes to ground, and the other two go to data in and out. Oops, data in and data out. Um, so a bit fiddly for me. I'll get this done. Okay, so looking at it from like that, you can see there um, how it's set up. And of course, the other end plugs into your USB device with the same uh, way. So here is a um, serial port that connects to a USB. And uh, should just be able to see the pins on that. So I've got uh, receive, transmit and ground there as well as data terminal already and uh, 3.3 volts out so and a 5 volt and a 5 volts out as well so uh, the other end of this I need to I won't connect the power at the moment but uh, black goes to ground second pin in uh, then one of my goes to transmit and the other one goes to receive. Now, if this doesn't really doesn't immediately work, I'm being very untechnical about this because yours might be different. If this doesn't immediately work uh, and isn't sensed, well, it will be. It might be sensed by the computer, but if it doesn't communicate, it might be that you have to uh, swap around the receive and transmit pins. But uh, that's the basic setup. You can also get power on it as well if you want. So I'll put that uh, red wire connected. So the next thing is to put that into uh, a computer that has a terminal program on it. Okay, so I've got my uh, Pi whoops, plugged into um, just a, an external power bank. I've found that it's better if you don't try and drive the Pi from the uh, um, for, directly from the computer. So that's loaded and booted now, and I'm going to put in my serial port you just about see that there uh, you may be able to see it flashing not sure um, but I've got power on there and then there's little transmit and receive lights as well so if on the um, Mac I'm going to uh, pull up my Arduino for want of something better to do my in Arduino environment and then if I look at the tools menu I can see the various ports and I've got here this uh, S-Lab USB to UART port, which this is this particular one that I've got that does work on the Mac. Uh, sometimes I've found that uh, if I've just plugged it in, I want to click away from that, go back in and click back onto it. Uh, and then to see whether anything's working with it, if I go to the serial monitor and you get this little screen up, and if I click send on that, you see a little flashing telltale just really slightly there uh, on, on that. So let's connect this to the Pi then. So my Pi is booted. You can see there uh, all booted and ready. And hopefully then I will plug in uh, black to the um, first of the three pins, which is ground. And then for my particular DuPont lead, I've got. I'm going to plug in the brown and then the white, which I think is what we need. So hopefully when that's set up, if I just hit send, oh, this is set to 115 200 board, by the way. Hopefully if I just click send, then there we go. So uh, I'm now connected to uh, my Pi. So I can just log in, click up there to do it. I can log in as Pi and RAS. Raspberry and that should log me in if I spelt Raspberry right. There you go. Whoops, no, I didn't. Let's try that again. Uh, Pi 
Rest. Raspberry. Okay, there you go. And I'm logged in. So that's one way you can do it. I've seen other people use a screen command on terminal. So it's something like this screen and then the same USB device as we found in the... Uh, um, well, that's a different one, actually, as we found in the Arduino um, things. So hopefully if I change that to screen dev cu and s whoops better type it with capitals s lab underscore usb to doing this with one hand i can type better than this you are then if we hit that there, then we should get a connection to it. I'm not connecting to it on this one at the moment because I'm already connected on my uh, serial monitor. But that's the way you do it. So if for some reason like me, you couldn't find a, a USB hub that worked with a Pi Zero, this is one way that you can have a Pi booted. You can't see what's on the screen, but you can get into it and check it's working uh, by coming in on this serial port.